Now most of us can remember that a few versions ago we've implemented the option that says insert PDF underlay. Now it's still there but new to Carry26 is that we now can convert the PDF to a drawing and insert. So if I click on the command Carry will ask me to browse to that PDF. Now in this exercise I'm going to make use of drawings, one in color, one in black, white and then one PDF document. So the first one is a color drawing. I'm going to say open and as you can see it's give me a preview. Now if this PDF document had more than one page I can be more specific and tell Carry which page I like to convert to a drawing. My location I'm going to specify because if it's ticked off as Carrie explains to you it will make use of 0, 0.0 so I'm going to specify my scale I'm going to keep it one because at any stage I can rescale my drawing because I know I can zoom in and have a look and see what is the width or the height or the length and I can scale according to that distance then my PDF data to insert I'm going to make use of all the options that's available in that PDF my layers I'm going to ask Carrie to use the PDF layers now as you can see you can create object layers you can say current layers now if it's said to use PDF layers that means that if that PDF was created file save as PDF then there's an option that says include the layers so if the CAD system did make use of implement the layers into the PDF then you can make use of that option my import option that will be as you can see you can either bring it in as a block you can join lines and arc segment you can use 2D geometry optimization insert colors as RGB colors so I'm going to say OK and Carrie will ask me pick point to import my PDF content. So I'm going to press a 4 for zoom extends and R for regen. So if I'm going to left click on this PDF, you'll pick up that, it picks up a hatch. I can just delete that hatch. It's just the fill has been used in the background fill. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to show to you that if I'm going to zoom in, if I select my roof or my walls, you'll notice that on my right hand side Carrie picks it up now as polylines so what it did is from the PDF it actually convert those lines to polylines so that's the advantage so and it kept its color so I'm just going to bring in the black and white one and then we're going to make adjustments to that one so I'm going to say file insert convert PDF to drawing and insert I'm going to say browse this time I'm going to make use of the black and white PDF once again, I'm going to keep a default, specify insertion point. I'm going to like to make use of all the data on the PDF and keep it exactly the same under my import options. I'm going to say OK and I'm going to place my PDF on the right hand side. So once again, get rid of my full. So now if I zoom in, R for region, you will see that my roof itself, that's a bit more clearer. You will see it comes in as polylines. That's my roof and my wall and what's nice about it is because it brings it in as polylines remember you can delete once it's selected I can delete those lines I can select those lines I can make changes to it change it to a different pen color click on my model space or for region press escape as you can see it did update so you can make changes to the lines you can place it on a different layer so it's just like a normal drawing that you've got here any of those lines comes in now as a polyline. You may notice also that your hatching will also come in as polylines. Your font itself, the text, you may find that some of your text or characters will come in as a hatch. Now I'm going to show you that if you add a, a Word document that is saved as a PDF, what's going to happen with the text? Because then it can bring it in as multi-line text. So the command is under file insert, exactly the same path convert PDF to a drawing I'm going to say browse and I'm going to make use of the license agreement so this is a word document that's saved to a PDF so I'm going to say open as you can see it's a single page one page I'm going to say OK and I'm going to place the content on the right hand side so if I'm going to zoom in as you can see it is text and here comes the advantage so if I'm going to left click you will see that can confirm that is M text so the advantage of M text is that you can edit the text so I'm going to say right click I say edit text and I'm going to add Caddy in front I'm going to say OK as you can see edit update the same as if you need to delete text so 
once again the advantage of it is you can select it you can do whatever you want you treat it as a multi-line text so that's the advantage of converting your pdf to a drawing